All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we are going to be doing Diddly Squat testing. Uh, yes, that is a, a work in progress as far as the name. Uh, so if you guys can come up with a better one, maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. Depends on if I like it. And if enough people say, uh, you know, rate it pretty high by giving it a bunch of thumbs up, then I'll probably use it. So anyways. Uh, so let's go in and first things first is we're going to leave everything stocked except for the off-road transmission. Uh, the suspension on this truck is going to have to be stocked. Uh, we are going to go and test out two different sets of tires this today. And let's see here. We are going to be doing the ones that I like the best which are not those ones. Yes, these ones. <laughs> We're going to test these ones, the MS8 or MHS2 versus the MHS4s. And we're going to see if 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 it really makes a difference or not. So, let's go ahead and throw those on. Let's uh Yeah, we'll throw those on as well, but we'll uh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Winch really doesn't matter, but we'll throw on the advanced anyways. Uh, engageable, all of, or diff lock. Snorkel, we really don't need a snorkel, but might as well throw it on anyways. And uh, I'm going to go with a low saddle. And yeah, we are going to leave the garage here. We are in Michigan. Fire this thing up. There it goes. And uh, we're going to head over to a nice little testing ground that I I didn't really find it. But, you know, if anyone's played the beginning of Michigan, they know that this is probably, at least in my opinion, is probably the hardest, um, the hardest mud pit to get through. <laughs> and if you know uh, what I'm talking about, I am talking about, uh, or I guess I should say if you if you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the uh, farmer's field where the CK-1-1500 is. Um, and there's a nice little... Oh, geez. Oh, yeah. Probably helps if I turn on all-wheel drive. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to having trucks that uh, have everything engaged, so... Let's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this path. You guys kinda know where it is. It's, it's it's right up here. We're gonna probably end up starting right about there. And we're gonna try to drive through it as far and as fast as we can. So I wanna do I wanna do real world testing. Uh I know people do testing all the time. They usually use a test test map. And um yeah, I just, I feel that, uh, I want to use a quote-unquote real-world map, uh, that comes in the game that everyone, uh, everyone has, so, uh, yeah, I was gonna cut this out, but we're pretty much almost there, so, I guess it doesn't really matter, I could've, could've driven through the, uh, the fence, uh, but, whoop, whoops, <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is we're going to park both both vehicles here. Well, technically, I, I I get to do this all over again. But um, yeah, we're just going to park the vehicle here. We're going to let it kind of sink in. It sinks a little bit, but not much. And we're going to throw it in low plus. We're going to throw the differential on, and we are just going to try to go as straight as possible. And yeah, we'll see A, how long things will take, and B, if we end up getting stuck, which one makes it farther. So, and this is completely stock truck except for the, uh, except for the tires. So let's go ahead and go. So 
So right off the bat, you can see that the, uh, the truck is struggling. In fact, I mean, we are moving. So I'll give you that one. I'll let it keep going. It's, it's slowly moving. You can see with that bale in the background. But we are, uh, yeah, we're kind of hurting now. Uh, let me rotate the camera. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're ever so slightly moving. Like, ever so slightly moving. Okay, I, uh, I actually expected this truck to get all the way through. <laughs> So I'm uh, a little disappointed in that, but uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna see how. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're moving at all now. And yeah, no, I'm gonna call it here. So let's go ahead and recover. Let's go to customize, go to tires, and we will throw on the number fours, which according to the chart that's circulating online, and all you have to do is look up SnowRunner tire chart, and it will pop up. This should be the best tire for this truck, even though, I mean, this one looks like it should be better. <laughs> But mm, apparently it's not. So anyways, let's go ahead and leave the garage. I am going to see you over by the field. All right, so we're back. I decided to actually uh, exit the game and then come back into it just to reset the, uh, the, the, uh, the ground so that there's no confusion. It's all, I guess, virgin ground if you want to say um so yeah let's go ahead and uh begin and ooh, right off the bat they seem to be a little bit better um and by a little bit i mean a little better <laughs> we did uh we did come to a, a nice little stop but uh yeah, we're definitely farther along. Yeah, we are. We are definitely moving farther and better. So, uh, right there, that just shows you that those tires are, or these tires, I should say, are much better. So the Mark IV, that's how I'm gonna describe them, are. Uh, yeah, they're they're better. Um. Okay, big surprise there. Apparently that chevron pattern uh, really does the trick, so. They don't look as good. I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. I definitely don't like them based on looks, but based on performance, they are solid. So, um, yeah, I don't even know if I want to try. I guess I got to keep going. <laughs> and, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for tests or ways to test said test, um, yeah, let me know because uh, I will I will gladly try to test those out for you. Uh, it's probably better best to join our Discord and uh, write out the I guess requirements that you are seeing fit there. Um, ideally, I should have timed. I probably should have set a stopwatch. That that would be smart. Um, I could probably use the video editing software to get an okay time frame. Uh, but yeah, I mean this is this is pretty good. We're moving. That's that's the important thing. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop right there. Uh, let's recover the truck. Let's go to customize now. I'm gonna pick the tires based on looks. And I'm going to go with these guys right here. And I believe they're worse. 
So these three tires are actually the same. Let me pull up the chart here. Um, boom, that is, see, that's how easy it is. Literally three clicks and I, I have all the tires laid out in front of me. So um, if we're looking at mud tires, that's probably the biggest area of slowdown. I mean, dirt, you really don't slow down that much. So there's really no point to test those. Chain, obviously, that makes sense for ice and snow. Um, but even then, chain tires basically work as uh, off-road tires do, um, where they're great on dirt, but not so great in mud. So there's a, there's a little thing there. But um, yeah, let me see if I can find the best tires for this truck based on this chart. All right, so looking at the mud tires, uh, the best ones were the MHS fours. So, uh, believe it or not, that's the best you can get for this truck. So, uh, these ones are probably the best looking mud tires in my opinion. Anyways, that is, uh, but they don't score very high. So let's just go ahead and do a quick test. And uh, yeah, I'll see you over there. All right, so that time I uh, exited out of the game, or no, I exited out of the menu and reloaded it, uh, but it still seems to be showing the path. So I'm just going to go for it. We're going to see how it goes. We're, we're going to have to come up with different rules and things like that as the tests prevail. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fire this up, put it in low plus, throw the diff lock on, and we're going to go in now. No, we're not going to go now because I uh, left the parking brake on. Now, that's when we're going to go. All right, let's try to keep her as straight as possible. And maybe if I come off to this side, it might be a little better. Um, but no, as you can see, you do, it does just sink right in pretty much like the other tires did. Uh, the first set of tires, the, uh, MHS ones. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I believe tire number two is the winner. So. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll call it a test there. We'll see how these these little test things go, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully see you in the next one. Bye for now.